Hi, I'm Melvin Tan and welcome to my kitchen. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of bananas right here. I just came back from the supermarket and they're on sale. They usually have ripe bananas on sale and this is the time to stock up on them. I put them in the freezer for future use. I use them in banana nut bread, of course, and also my morning smoothies. And they're also great for making vegan dairy-free ice cream. And that's what we're gonna make today. I'm gonna make uh, two versions. The one is chocolate and one is the banana coconut flavor. This is how we're gonna do it. Today I'm using six ripened bananas. For every two bananas you use, you wanna add one heaping teaspoon of coconut oil. You don't have coconut oil, you don't have to add it. But by doing so, you can make the final product firmer, creamier, and taste more like conventional ice cream. Now comes the time to blend everything together. Use an immersion blender to blend everything until smooth or you can leave some chunks in there. If you do leave some chunks in there, you can add some interesting texture to your final product. Okay, so we have the banana all blended. So what we want to do is uh, split this in half. The first half will be just uh, banana flavor with a little bit of hint of coconut. And then the second part, we're going to add uh, cocoa to it. Uh, I'm adding uh, raw cacao powder to this. Just pour this in and uh, they're ready for the freezer. And for this banana flavor, I'm adding a little bit of cinnamon powder just to give it a hint of uh, exoticness. And uh, you don't have to do this if you don't like a cinnamon, but I love it this way. With the remaining banana puree, I'm adding three tablespoons of really good raw cacao powder and blend everything together with an immersion blender. And this is the time you can decide if you want to add more to it or not. By adding more cacao powder, it will become more bitter, more of an adult taste. Pour it into the container and we're ready for the freezer. Alright, so these two have been set in the freezer for 24 hours and they're ready. Uh, this is one way to do it. Another way is to uh, take out the whole frozen bananas and blend them together uh, whenever you want to eat it. So this is the way I like it um, because I can control how much I make and I can make a lot ahead of time. And let's see if this is, yeah, this is set very hard just like ice cream because I put coconut oil in this. Mm, creamy and smooth. This is very healthy for you, low calorie ice cream alternative that's vegan and dairy free. And once again, I'm Melvin Tan and thank you for coming to my kitchen today. I hope to see you again next time.